Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. How are you all doing? I'm very tired. Had a shower. I'm in my son's room, there's no furniture in it. So if it is really, really echoey, then that's the reason why. It's because I'm in a big open space and it's just me and my, let me hide my address. Another team of order. So hello to everybody that's new. Um, my name's Alex and yeah, I've been on YouTube for a few years by my back and fall, back and fall. And yeah, so I just decided to keep uploading again. So I ordered Timo a few weeks ago and they actually credited me for pound because they arrived late, uh, which I was fighting about. I didn't need any of it urgently. But yeah, they gave me four quid. Um, so I just said rather than rather than it go into my basket, into my bank account, I'd rather it go into my Timo account and then I just keep adding to basket. So I'm nearly done. I think I've got a few more order, orders to come. So I, I thought I'll show you what I've got um, and reason behind it. And yeah, I'll just talk all the way through it. So because I'm not that fancy, what I'll do, I'll talk about it. I only record with my phone. So I screenshotted um, what I seen. So the reason why I bought it so that you can see it. And then I've also written down here the prices and I'll tell you as I go along. So the first things first, I got it. That's Timo again, sending me WhatsApps now. So I don't know what I've done, but I've got Timo uh, texting me, WhatsApping me, emailing me. I have little notifications on my phone. The only thing they're not doing is ringing me. So I bought my mirror so I can see it. Oh, sorry, yeah, showing a bit of both. So the first thing that we've got is a colourful lip glaze. And it's apparently it's a cream lipstick. I got it in um, 04 and it was £1.59. They had loads of colours and it's meant to be moisturising. So that's what it looks like. And that's the colours that I tend to use um, when I wear lipstick. Now I'm going to show you. But the thing is, I need to check out my other one. Ah, goes on like a bit of a crayon. Go on my teeth. Oh yeah, it is. Um, it is creamy, but it's like, it tastes of something. So that's the cover, and that cost me £1.59. So yeah, like I said, I need to check out my other one. Now the reason why I actually, I'll stick that colour a second, is because I haven't got my face on, I look really weird. So the, the reason why I went on Timo is because I got this bag. Right. But this is what the handle's like. Now I love this bag. It's a Carvella. I don't know what that means. I think I had it off eBay years ago. Now this is this used to be my everyday bag. In here I've got a bag for life. It's got a strap. But this is how I usually hold my bag. Now this handle is fine. But look at the state on that handle. So what I bought is these and they are called back shoulder strap and handle covers. So these were 89 pence each. So I bought two because obviously it's two handles. And so I've got like one side felt and then one side quite shiny. And it just saves me buying a new handbag just because my hands are. See how much more because I don't know if you actually tuck the tuck them underneath. So now 
Looks good as new. Like I said, 89 pounds each. They are tan, they are, um, I want to say like a mustard colour. What a cool idea. Yeah, because I love this bag and I've been using it enough for one, but I don't want that to go all monkey. I need to get some shoe polish on here. So see? Completely elevated now. Wouldn't even tell that it's not a part, that it was not originally a part. Job done. Don't need a new bag. Then I bought a car storage portable. Oh, I think obviously it needs to be fashed out a bit. Well, I think once things are in it, you're going to get the gist of it. So this was £1.92. Now the only reason why is because I'm a rugby mom and a football mom and whatever the kind of mom there is because I've got two sons. My car is like, I, I couldn't even tell you, but I bought that because then I bought, my kids have got like spare things, they've got like a spare set of like football or rugby boots, they've got a spare set of shin pads um, or just water bottles, but I don't want it everywhere. And I thought, if I could just buy that, put it in the boot of my car, um, because obviously sports are all year round, you know, yeah, we get a little break off season, but then still they got training and different things. And yeah, so I like it. Not sure if they had other colours, but I bought grey, because then it just goes with my car. I hope you're all okay. I've noticed that I've had a few more, sorry, I'm scratching my leg. I've had a few more subscribers, so hello. I'm hoping to get to maybe 400 by the end of the year. That would be good, wouldn't it? Um, yeah. So I think the team wall, definitely, people like the team wall. Like I said, I got Sheen. But um, the team was just taking off the world, didn't it? So the next thing, you've got to bear with me, um, is a 12-piece Chinese-style paper and envelope set. And this is what it's like. It's not lying, so it's just A4 paper with this beautiful pattern. And then there's the envelopes. Now I actually think this is quite pricey. So this was £2.79. Look how delightful. Oh, I can't even see it. Oh, what? oh you'll see the you'll see it on the I suppose the windows right by there. It's just this beautiful, like I said, Chinese style. Um, because I want to start writing again. I want to start writing letters. Uh, we've got into such a generation that people don't send birthday cards no more, Christmas cards. Now I love sending Christmas cards. Me and my kids, we love hand making Christmas cards, Easter cards, birthday cards. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, I had a pen pal when I was younger. You know the magazines that you used to have, like Teen Pop or I'll show some pictures and you used to like, you used to write to your pen pal in these magazines and you used to like, oh, I just thought it was absolutely amazing. So, the, the, it's, it's double sided like the print. So, um, one of my best friends moved to Australia and I'm going to start writing her letters and then if I put like quite a lot of packaging on there, I might just send some um, print small photos of us because I know I know I can send a text, but this is what I want to do. I want to send letters. I've been on about different I've been on about different ages. Marcus thinks Marcus is my husband. He goes, why can't you just send a text? Why can't you just send a WhatsApp? And I'm like, I do that. I do that quite frequent. Um, but I just want to. But for twelve piece. So it's 12 that, um, how much? Yeah, so it's six, I don't know, one, two, three, four. Well, I thought in my head it would have been 12, 12, but it's not. It's eight pieces of paper and four letters, so it looks like, 
I'm doing three pieces of paper to one envelope and that's fine. I did think that was a little bit expensive, £2.79, but team have got a whole range of stationery and I'm here for it. Right. So I've already been talking for far too long, so let's get cracking. So I've already given this to someone. It's just a little funny gift. So it's um oh, it's called a, a work bestie, little pendant, little key ring. So that was one pound fifth, uh, one pound eleven, sorry. Um we used to work together, but, but we don't know more. She's on maternity, so I just bought that for her, and I think it says sarcastic looks and eye rolling, and that's what we used to do. We could talk to each other just by our eyes. We would just be like... You know, we, it would... That's what we'd be like. So I bought that for her. It's just like a little love pendant. And how much was this? This is 83p. So it is proper acrylic. And it says, never forget the difference you make. And it's got like this jute string. And this was 83p. And do you know, just nice, nice little gifts like that. It can really cheer up someone's day. Yeah. Never forget the difference you make. Oh, that was lovely. Got a couple of random things coming up now. I uh, bought this vintage bucket hat and it was £1.41. And I bought it because I thought, yeah. I was born 1989, but I was obviously living my best life in the, the noughties. But like I was made in the 90s, like the 90s is where oh, it was just a great times. I love being. Even though I'm an 80s kid, I'm really a 90s kid because I was I was born in 1989, so I had like 11 months of the 80s. So I'm really, I'm really a 90s kid. And I just think, oh, fabs are on round 41. It's a bit of me, I think. At 80s, 70s, I'm not sure about the 60s, but back at that, going raven, just plain black on the inside. Re yeah. It's got the glass, it's got the cassette tapes, got the um, record and the boom box. Just generally just amazing, amazing times. I know what you can't go back into the past because then you, you I know I'm not gonna have Marcus, I'm not gonna have my kids, but like sometimes I wish I could relive it, like go just go back for a day and just be like Oh, in my bedroom, I had the, the best bedroom ever. Pink, uh, bright pink and bright purple. Oh, I just had posters. Like, I don't see kids with posters on their walls no more. I... Why can't we bring back posters? Used to buy back to the magazine, the pop world, the, this. I can't smash it, whatever. And then you used to have poster, blue tack it over the wall, we used to go to concerts, we used to come back with a new um, massive one from Westlife. I had about 20 posters of Westlife, they were my boy band, because obviously I'm from Wales, which is in um, the United Kingdom and Great Britain. So like I, even though I enjoyed Backstreet Boys, um, Backstreet Boys, NSYNC, um, Old Town, like I loved them but I didn't have them on my wall. What else did I used to love? I used to love, I love Backstreet Boys. I wish they were tall you. Um, but like Westlife. Westlife was my thing and take that. Um, boys on. Just loved boy bands. But let's get back to it because otherwise I'm not going to get through this. Then this is random, so it's a black head remover. I'll come closer so you can see. It was just like this little finger. Silicone thing. It was 87 pence and it's a bit weird. I don't know why in certain colours it's, it's um, 
cheaper prices so they had this in aqua and i think it was dearer so i thought well it does the same job if it was in black or white i would have had it so what you do you have a nice hot shower and then you get and then you go like that and you scrub it that's what it's like you put your finger in it see all silicone so you can keep it nice and clean well i like that color on my lips and then once you have a nice hot shower you just go in and you just proper go nuts and this costs 77 pence you can do your chin you can do the yeah really random but i wanted one and then this is even more random then so this is a painless facial hair removal thing and again i bought it in pink because it was the cheapest one this cost me 87p Yeah, so some Saturday today, I've been painting all day. Once I finish this book, I'll show you when they go back. So I'm not sure like if this is threading. Oh, that, that won't paint us in, that's gonna make my eyes water. No, that's not painless. Oh, yeah, can you see it? Oh my god. I I actually don't mind threading. Threading of but that the lion. That's that's what it's like. So it's like this kind of thing. Do you call it like that? Because I've been doing it that. Right, I don't think I'm doing it wrong. I'll have to watch a video. Oh, God, I don't know if I can. Oh, it's making my face itch now. So that's meant to be a painless. Facial hair remover 87p, and like I said, they had them in different colors. But you can see my hairs in them. I'm gonna have to watch a, uh, a, a, tuto a tutorial on YouTube about it. But that's what it's like. And if you meant to go up, then that's when you get it because when you brush down, I'm quite dark. I'm, I'm a hairy girl, so like, of course, I always have hair around you, but I'm not shaving. Um, I don't want to wax, I get my eyebrows waxed. But I thought, oh, if I could make it a little bit easier for myself and, you know, make my makeup go on nicer, do what you want, or if you want to have a hairy top lip, you crack on. Uh, but I don't. No, that really hurts. Oh my God, that really hurts. I'll have to try that on Marcus. And then the next thing, it's got the word painless in it. Crystal hair remover. So that's what it's like. You know, that's the colours you can have. Ooh. I don't look rose gold, but that's what it's like. It just looks like a really shiny. Well, you can see in the camera. So if they, I've seen people not shave, or I am not shave, people just use it on their dry legs, so it works. Right. You're not going to shave me if I show you my hairy legs. Right, can you see my, right, can you see my hairy legs? Oh, it's like a white residue comes off. Yeah, it actually works. And what I'll try and do is try and take the before and after, but I don't know. I don't know what, what all the white bit is. 
it's like that. I don't know what how how old it is. Oh my god. Oh my god, my leg is so small. Look at it. Oh, I don't know. I always forget about my knee. I hate shaving. Look at the bruises. Can you see my bruises? I've been going to spin class like three or four times a week, right? I do spin class and sometimes I forget. And on my knees, I forget to move position it. So like one week you go up, so you're on a hill and then when you go up, I pop a smack my knees. But I've been told for 25 minutes and I have to cut this down. That's absolutely amazing. What else have I got? Been painting. Um, I took this out, but like, in fact, I didn't actually need to use it. It's called an edge paint brush. 1.68, and literally, it's just to uh, put the paint on there and then do a few doing like corners. So it doesn't go on your skirt and boards. No. Looks like I'm painting, doesn't it? Perfect, like all around the edge of the door. Oh, wrong way. Douche, douche, down like that. What did I say? £1.68. Then I bought a large. What I'm finding is, yeah, I live in. A, I, live in a, I live in a normal size three bedroom house, right, in white. It's not a mansion, but it's like storage. Storage is a big problem. Not for us, but like in general. So I don't have all my clothes and all my kids' clothes in the house, in the bedroom all year long. I start off with a spring summer and now well it's been sunny today, it's been about 22 degrees today. But I'm, I'm a core person, like I will still have long, you know, fleecy warm pajamas on in summer. Marcus is in pants or naked. Too much information, but that's the way it is. Um, but yeah, it's like, where do I put the coats? Where do I put the scarves and the hats and the gloves and the, and the long sleeve stuff? So I wanted to buy a lar one large zipper, and this will cost you 24 good for as well. Do you know if like you're selling on Tino? No. No. Do you know if you're selling on Vinted? And it's like, it'd be good to have one of these because if you're anything like me, you will just put around there and like at the bottom of your wardrobe. So I, I would have, I, obviously all my clothes are, I, are washed. I iron as I go along. But then if I look at something and I don't want it, I will fold it. And then it's just easy then to put, you know, take photos of it, upload it to Vinted, chuck them in one of these bags because then you know this is your selling bag. Um, but yeah, as far as like, got a couple of handles on it, and then got to get this video, it's going to be like 30 minutes. And I hope you like long videos. I hope the sound of my voice makes you fall asleep at night. Oh, that's class, that is. Yeah, I'm loving that. Yeah. Bought one of them. But then for some odd reason... Where's the two? I'm in the middle of trying to organise and sort my kids' stuff out. So then, for the lovely price of... One ninety nine. You get this really good quality. You get this baby one and this big one. It's like a little mini me. It's like Austin Powers and mini me. You get this big one and this mini one for one ninety nine. I don't. 
your colours, grey, beige, black, whatever, you know, whatever your aesthetic is, I went for grey because it's the cheapest. But yeah, do you know if you've got, I don't know, paperwork that you want to put away, or, I don't know, and it's got a go. I just, I bought them for my kids. Because they, we've got like Ikea wardrobes in the kids' rooms. And um, it's just good to pop stuff in because then it, it looks presentable. Chuck them on there, that way, whatever way, like that. Or put them in your put, put them in the wardrobe. You know, if your kid is anything like mine, they like sections. So we've got like the cubbies and then it's four of them. And I go right has some pants off, rugby, random stuff like swim shorts, um, a tie, it's rugby tie, um, which he only wears once a year, swim shoes that he wears whenever we go swimming, goggles, swim shorts. And then in these then, I don't know what Ruben would put in there, because I've, I've been sorting out all his wardrobes and um, he's got so much knickknacks, he, he's a knickknack person. And then, of a Ruben, I bought this acrylic mirror. So you take this off and then it actually looks like a mirror because it's not this weird like matte style. It's an actual mirror and that costs £3.35 because at the minute I've decorated this room, like I've said about a million times, he wants a football game room. So I've got all that for him, you can go on, on this wall. The only thing is though, this is in sections, so I'm going to have to take it off, somehow draw on the wall with a pencil and then stick it on. I don't know how I'm going to do it, because it doesn't come like this, each one is an in individual puzzle piece and that costs £3.35. And then because I thought I haven't got enough storage boxes, I picked up these and they were £1.18 each. each. You know, sometimes on the app it's like you go down and then it's like it's cheaper because like I bought one large zipper bag and it was £3.24. But now I got them. Um, for one pound eighteen each, so I don't know. I don't know if I was meant to have got rid of the three pound twenty four one because I got one for one pound eighteen, and I picked up two of them. So that's a bit. I don't know. I thought that I had. Um, I bought this roll of five hundred uh, fiber stickers, and they're only one inch. And they cost me 70 pence. You know, sometimes when I sell on Vinted, I wrap it up like in all my stuff. Not, no, I don't like break the bank. Just what if I put a nice little thank you? It goes a long way. And then the last thing that I see, this was also 83 pence. And it's good friends, like stars. You don't always see them, but you know they're always there. And yeah, that has been my haul. So it started off, the only reason why I needed to get something was for these certain bag holders. And yeah, so I hope you loved my haul. And yeah, I'm gonna, if you ask me any questions about my haul, I'm happy to answer. And yeah, I'm gonna go now, so enjoy your weekend guys. Bye.